All right, about a week or two ago, I was helping a, a viewer out with something. They were, they were having an issue with uh, uploading videos to YouTube, and I was recommending a program called, uh, what is that, Arista, right? And it's really good if you have multiple devices, like you have an iPad or iPod, right, or uh, PSP, uh, Nokia's or whatever, mobile devices, or just basically you just want to convert it from one format to another. It does it very, very well. And um, before I get into uh, showing off the program, um, this newer one, you have to add a repository. I'm going to leave all this in the description down below. Um, if you don't know how to do this, basically open up your terminal and copy you know, um, each line, hit enter, and um, give your password and you should get it. Anyways, so about the program, um, well, one thing I like about it is it actually it supports right click, you know what I mean? So when you actually install it, it might give you a, uh, not really a warning, but it'll say, uh, you know, please log out, log back in for, for the Nautilus support to take effect. And what it's referring to is, let me grab these videos. Let me see. Here's the original video that I downloaded. So if you right click on it, it should say device, convert to device. And here's Android, all these Android devices, Galaxy, Apple OS, iPod, iPod Nano, Classic, you know, computers like H.264, WebM, you know what I mean? I mean all your DVD stuff, NTSC or PAL or whatever, Nokia's. So it's it's really it's really really good. You know, it's straightforward, real easy to do. And I did a couple already. <clears throat> to give you an example, if I right click on here and go to properties, on the original file, see how it says 1920 by, let me just highlight it, by 1080. So that's the original source material, right? Um, to some, you know, classic import, you know, uh, cars. <laughs> Anyways, I converted to, uh, I believe, an Apple device. This might be the iPod. And see how it shrank it down from the 1080 one or, the, or whatever it was <clears throat> to a smaller size so it can fit the actual screen. So it does that very well and it does it to the point where you don't really lose too much quality. You know, it still looks very, 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 very nice. Anyways, so anyway, I did a few of them. You know, this is basically a, I converted this to a flash video if I wanted to re-upload it, right? And this is another Apple device. I think is the the Nano. Yeah, it is. It's four twenty six by two forty. But anyways, you can actually do other stuff with it. Right, if you want to like actually just download a, a different preset, you go over here, click on that, and you just browse for what you need. Like, if you need like a like Nintendo Wii, I guess, just click on that and you know, go to your downloads folder. If you're using Chrome, just drag this out and uh, go up here to the top, go to edit, I'm sorry, file, install new device preset, and here it is, a little tar, tar file hit open and that's it it's installed right so you know it's really easy to use um, you can actually actually create your own if you wanted to right so if you want to modify one of these or make your own like this flash one let's see uh, let's add a new one I guess video options so height and width and frame rate right so if you want to like make it like you know like 1440 by 900 or whatever you can you can do that too. You know what I mean? If you wanted like either a standard 4 by 3 or 16 by 16 by 10 or 16 by 9, you can do that too. And with all your video codecs or whatever, so it's really cool. I would highly recommend it. Anyways, um, I guess that's it for now. You know what I mean? It's not really much more I can say other than I've been using it regularly. So see you guys later. And hopefully I make some more videos soon. I've just been kind of busy lately, so I know it's no excuse, but. <laughs> Oh yeah, also I, I, I'm planning to do a, an overview of, um, oh, what do you call it, uh, the new Unity, you know what I mean, uh, Ubuntu 11.10. Uh, as I installed it on my test machine, but unfortunately it wouldn't run. I'm guessing because of the hardware issues, whatever, you know what I mean, it's still, it's still alpha, you know what I mean? So maybe I'll just wait until beta when it actually gets a little more stable, I'll, I'll do a little overview of that. So anyway, see you guys later. Thanks for watching. <laughs>